We begin tonight with breaking news. Video showing a mob of teens pummeling Marines is now leading to a lot of arrests. The attack in San Clemente is spurring police to work this case around the clock. Tom Waite joins us now, has the latest on the teens under arrest. Tom? And that's right. Uh, tonight, Susie and Jeff, nine people, young people, juveniles, have so far been identified and implicated in this brutal attack. This all happened Friday night near the San Clemente Pier when the three Marines who were attacked were taking some time off from Camp Pendleton. Here's a look at that video again. It's tough to watch. Teens kicking and pummeling the Marines after they say they asked the group of 30 or 40 young people who showed up on the beach to stop setting off fireworks. The Marines said some of the debris from those fireworks hit them in the face. So far, the Orange County Sheriff's Department says they've arrested five of the teens, four boys and one girl. Those five are facing felony charges. Right now, the other four are facing misdemeanor charges. Five were charged with felony assault with a deadly weapon. Those five were taken into custody and are presently at Juvenile Hall. And uh, the other four were charged with misdemeanor assault and battery. They, uh, as I understand it, typically don't take juveniles into custody for misdemeanors. So they'll be they'll go through the process out of custody. And they were lighting off fireworks. They were being belligerent. They were being obnoxious and annoying other people. So we went up to them, told them to stop. My face still had like blood all over it. It wasn't there. Those investigators were able to use other video recordings of the attack to help identify the teens. KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk with more on how police identified and arrested those teens so quickly. And Mike, a lot of parents probably uh, just looking at this video and wondering how this could happen to their kids. Yeah, and Tom, you know, you touched on it right there. The sheriff's department able to use some other video they got. I want to bring back that video uh, of this attack, and I want to point out, in the video, all of those lights are all from cell phones. That is just how many cameras were recording that night. And those are just the ones that had lights on. I'm sure there were even more people who didn't turn their flashlights on. In addition to that, there were also fixed cameras on a building, at least two right here, that caught the attack on camera as well. Now, I've learned that the, uh, the sheriff's department was able to take video from this attack from both those cell phones and we believe from those fixed cameras as well. And they actually took them to the school district down there in San Clemente. And they worked with school district officials to identify those uh, nine kids that were involved in this alleged attack. Now, as we come back out here to the desk, uh, they say that the school district worked well with them because all of those kids, all nine of them, are from the San Clemente area. All of them resided there, so they were able to use those photos and videos to get a hold of the school district to then track down those suspects. And as Tom mentioned, uh, they are now facing a, a variety of charges, all nine of them. Guys?